Hello everyone, before we begin the collectibles here in this chapter, I just want to let you know there's a spoiler here, a third person joins my party, you may not want to know about it, if you don't, stop the video now, last warning, here we go. Alright, so we got a whole bunch of collectibles here in chapter 8, starting off with a treasure right at the very beginning of the chapter, as soon as you begin it, go to the cliff, head left, drop down, and then you can pick up this one. This will also lead us into an optional conversation, so we're going to go climb back up. And we'll find Sam at the cliff here. Go ahead and talk to him. And that will do it for that conversation. So we're going to progress just a little further on. You're going to squeeze through this small little opening. And you're supposed to climb up the rocks to the right-hand side. Before you do that, jump into the water. And if you thought we had to swim to get this one, well, you're correct. So dive down. And there is the treasure. Now, the another treasure is going to be located uh, above us a, a little bit. So we're going to swim to the top here. And we're going to go up these rocks here. I told you not to go up. So we're going to go up a couple times here. And we're going to get to a little mud slide where we're supposed to kind of jump to the other side. But we're going to jump. And we're going to slide down and actually jump up on the same side here on the left. So don't jump to the other side. Just jump here or slide and then jump. Make a leap there at the end. And then climb up this drop down and you'll find treasure number 60. Right, so a little bit later on, you're going to uh, crawl along the wall here, and then you're going to jump up. And this path is ultimately going to lead us to a fence that's kind of blocking our path, but there's an opening at the top of it that we can climb over. We don't want to climb past it just yet. Instead, once you get down here, go to the back right corner, and you'll find the treasure behind the rock. Now picking up this treasure, we're going to parlay this into our next optional conversation. So as soon as you pick this up, go walk over to Nadine and you'll have a conversation with her. Hey, thanks for not murdering Sam, by the way. You might prove useful later. Speaking of our next collectible will be another optional conversation. And that is going to be after Sam uh, makes it over the tracks here. You had to push this cart in order for him to leap across. Now once he leaps across, you're kind of supposed to go back towards the opposite end. You're going to want to follow Nadine. Don't do that. Instead, stay with Sam, keep an eye on him, and you'll see the conversation bubble pop up here in a moment. I never would have found you without her help, okay? So now we got another treasure. This treasure is going to be once you get to this section here and you're supposed to climb up. You're going to attach a rope and you're going to climb up. You're going to let Sam climb first and you're going to use the same rope to climb up yourself. Don't do that just yet, so don't hit X to climb up. Instead, take this alternate path winding back around here to the wall, to the cliff face here, and we're just going to navigate our way over to a treasure, and I promise at the end of this there's going to be a treasure. And there it is. So we got another optional conversation after this. This is going to be kind of in that cave system, and there's a big encounter that happens here. At the very end of it, you guys are going to regroup over here by these rocks. Uh, this is where you can talk to Nadine. So go ahead and do that, have that optional conversation. And let's find our final photo in the game. This is going to be after you swing over here, you're going to do this little sliding section here, and you're going to leap to a wall here in just a moment. Make sure you throw your pick in there and climb up. Out in the distance, you see some trains. That is what we're going to take a picture of. So just go to the end of the cliff here and take a photo. Now, right behind us is a treasure. So we're going to go and get that. But in order to get that, you have to climb up this way. Now, this is part of the story path, so you have to come this way. So we're going to make our way up here. Now there's going to be a split in the path here. You're supposed to go up. However, to get the treasure, you need to go down. Got something for you. So we just got a couple more treasures here. And then a whole bunch of lock boxes. But the next treasure is going to be after you drop that gray crate onto the cart. That allows you to get up here. Sam's going to help you up. Now you're going to have to go through the tunnel to the left-hand side here. Now you may have seen this treasure slightly earlier, but you weren't able to access it until now. This is the part where you lifted Sam up on the, uh, the ladder and then it broke, so you had to find the alternate path. So make sure you double back to get that treasure. Final treasure in this chapter is going to be an interesting one. You're going to reach this section, see the trains there, you're going to grapple, and you're supposed to swing over to that building right there. However, 
swing backwards and then drop to a lower platform from what you just were at. And then you're gonna find Skelliseer. This is the Last of Us Left Behind DLC Easter egg. You guys might remember it where Ellie found this and she asked it a bunch of funny questions and then looked at the answer. Well, you gotta do the same thing for this uh, Shake For Your Fortune trophy. Cause you get a trophy for finding just this one. So I ask a question, flip it over, and you'll at some point get a trophy there. Shake for your fortune. All right, so there are five lock boxes at the end of the level. This is the helicopter encounter. Now, I cleared out all the enemies. I'm not gonna open up the boxes for the uh, sake of time here. So what you're gonna wanna do is open up all these. So you can clear all the enemies before you uh, destroy the helicopter if you want to be able to get this. Just make sure the helicopter doesn't see you. So that was one lock box. They're all orange here, by the way. There's one straight in front of us. Now, if you do get uh, tagged by the helicopter, uh, you can lose them easily. It's not too difficult. I find swimming in the water, underwater, is, is a good way to lose them. Stay in the high bushes. Here's another lockbox that's in the center of the area. So there are two on the left-hand side, one in the center, and there's two kind of on the right-hand side. The first three of these of which you open will contain a RPG. And there was a fourth lock box, and oh, of course the helicopter just saw me, but here's the final one, it's in the back of this truck. So there we go, good enough. You guys know where they're at, you know what to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check the playlist if you wanna get all the collectibles in any other chapters. Thanks for watching, please hit the like button, and of course, subscribe.